Since I was a kid, I've always wanted to make movies. It started when one time, some friends and I picked up a camera and thought it would be cool to make our own movie. So later on, we'd often create little scenes, make skits, and make short films. And this lasted quite a few years. Eventually, they moved on from their childhood ambition of making movies. I, however, never grew out of it. I just became more pragmatic as I got older. I concluded that making Hollywood movies probably wasn't in my future. For the longest time, I wanted to go to film school. I thought it would be so cool to go to the Art Institute. But I had to be real. Their tuition was outlandishly expensive. For a while, I figured I'd just study video production at a community college and see where that takes me. Right now, I'm in college and I'm studying electrical engineering. Maybe when I get my engineering degree, I'll get a certificate in video production, but most jobs involving video production don't pay enough for the locations where most of the jobs are located, and most jobs involving video production aren't what I want to do. Ultimately, I wanted to make my own movies. However, a lot of the movies or shows I'd love to make require budgets that would make having connections with wealthy producers indispensable. So filmmaking isn't something I'm actively pursuing. However, when you really love something, that love doesn't just go away. Instead, it manifests itself in some sort of longing for something or through some other adjacent method. For me, it's making an occasional YouTube video and getting heavily invested in stories depicted through books, video games, and movies. And due to certain comments friends and family have made regarding particular movies, I've concluded that I view movies entirely different from the rest of my peers. So, I've always enjoyed watching video essays and analysis about the movies and video games I enjoyed because it provided me with an inadvertent way to converse about the way I view movies. However, over the years, it's become evident to me that there's one of two problems with most of the YouTube channels I watch. Many of them avoid saying anything controversial. The other cohort of YouTube film critics have political and philosophical views that I don't share. That's why I felt inspired to make movie Libertas, because I want to make something that I'm not seeing. My views are not being represented within the community of YouTube movie critics, reviewers, and analyzers. Many of them, who I like, say the same thing that I've heard a million times, either because creative types tend to lean towards a particular political affiliation, or because they avoid saying anything controversial, so they just perpetually repeat the same facts someone else has already said. Think about it. How many times have you heard about how George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead is about consumerism? How many times have you heard about how Land of the Dead is about classism? Hey, did you know that They Live is in response to the Reagan era? Is any of this really new to you? I've heard it from many YouTube channels that I watch when I'm bored. Now, there's two ways this usually goes. They either state why George A. Romero believed the things he did, and that's it. Or they'll add context that confirms why George A. Romero was right about the things he believed in. Do any of the critics, reviewers, video essayists, and analyzers ever offer how the movie connected with them on a personal level? Do they ever offer a challenge to the message and motive behind a film? Often they don't. Yes, we get that Dawn of the Dead was about consumerism. That's cool. But what are the merits of George A. Romero's beliefs? And how does the film speak to me? 
That's what art is about. It's about more than just expressing the values of the artist. What values do I project into the art? What are my criticisms? To give you an example of what I am to do, while I'm not a conservative, I made a video about how Star Wars had more conservative themes than you think it does. That video was a response to a particular YouTube video that claimed Luke Skywalker's character was a rejection of individualism because he's working with a collective. This was from a YouTube channel I liked, but I was dumbfounded at the utter stupidity of such a statement. Here are these people who not only don't understand conservatism, but they don't understand what individualism means, and yet they are projecting their ignorance in a video essay about something that speaks to me. This problem also exists in the realm of video game essays and criticism. I remember playing Bioshock and noticing that it was a critique of objectivism and Ayn Rand. Eventually, I started watching videos analyzing Bioshock and what it was trying to say, and almost none of the videos I watched challenged what Bioshock was saying. Rather, they were simple explanations or confirmations about the messages behind Bioshock. That's all fine, but what is lacking is a back and forward conversation. To be clear, None of those videos need to present challenges to Bioshock or offer a fair defense of Ayn Rand and her philosophy. It's okay for those videos to be the way they are. I like many of those videos. I'm just stating my observations. One thing that interests me is how people with completely different political and philosophical perspectives can like the same movie and find value in the same movie. Why is it that movies like Star Wars, A Quiet Place, and the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe can appeal to people with different views on the world? Why is it that Batman and Superman as characters appeal to so many people? That's something I want to explore. Are there universal principles that opposing viewpoints agree on? How is it we're watching the same thing despite having completely different values. That's the conversation I'm interested in. That's what I aim to do with Movie Libertas. However, Movie Libertas serves as much more than that. I have a video titled Pure Evil, a look at Michael Myers, John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween. And that video isn't overtly political. That video had the goal of explaining what I felt like most people were overlooking, if not entirely disregarding, when talking about the character of Michael Myers and the original Halloween. So Movie Libertas is an outlet for me to analyze things I love and say things I think need to be said. In the end, I think I just have a different perspective to offer when it comes to these movies, games, books, and stories that I absolutely love.